Welcome to Widis in Medicine. We are glad to start another segment on MRCS and for those who don't know about it, it's an exam which enables surgical trainee to become a member of one of the four surgical rural colleges in UK and Ireland. For more information, refer to description and if you guys want, then we can make a separate video for that too. But for now, let's get started with the content. We are officially getting started with DERMA and these are various topics that you need to discuss under DERMA for your exam and let me remind you that this video just contains high yield information. The topic for today is benign and pre-malignant epidermal tumors. Now let's discuss about seborrheic keratosis. It results from proliferation of basal keratinocytes. It may also be referred as benign squamous proliferation and it's pigmented. Talking about clinical presentation, seborrheic keratosis affects mainly elderly people. It is often multiple and seen in trunk and face. The lesion is generally round or oval in shape. It starts as a small papule, often lightly pigmented or yellow in color, which later grows into darkly pigmented warty nodules as you can see in the figure here. This appearance is classically described as coin-like stocken appearance which is present with keratin plugs and well-defined edges. Sometimes diagnosis of seborrheic keratosis may be difficult and during such time histological examination is ordered and the appearance is somewhat like here shown in figure. It shows round intralesional cyst of loose keratin which is also known as keratin pseudocyst. If you are talking about seborrheic keratosis, there is another entity called laser trellat sign, which is named after German surgeon Edmund Laser and French surgeon Ulysse Trellat. This sign refers to sudden onset of multiple seborrheic keratosis in body and is suggestive of underlying carcinomas, primarily of gastrointestinal tract. It is believed that cytokines and growth factor produced by neoplasms are responsible for such abrupt burst of seborrheic keratosis. Differential diagnosis of seborrheic keratosis includes actinic keratosis, melanocytic nevus, pigmented basal cell carcinoma, and malignant melanoma. Management of this condition can be done with help of liquid nitrogen cryotherapy or curatase or cautery. Another topic is actinic keratosis. It is a typical precancerous lesion of the skin and develops as a result of excessive sun exposure. It is more commonly seen in middle-aged and elderly people and found in sun-exposed areas such as face, scalp, shoulder, neck, dorsum of hand and forearm. Talking about morphological appearance of this condition, we can see erythematous, irregular skin lesion with dry, adherent scales and the surrounding skin is photodamaged. Now, management. It includes photoprotection, that is use of sunscreen against harmful UV rays, cryotherapy, curate and one can also use topical 5-fluorouracil or imiquimod in case of multiple lesions. Let's discuss about skin tags. These appear as pedunculated benign fibroepithelial polyps which are a few millimeters in length and more common in elderly or middle-aged people. These tags are more common in neck, axilla, groin and eyelids and they can be confused with melanocytic navy or seborrheic warts. Management can be done by cryotherapy or local excision. Since long videos can be boring, for a few of us, we have decided to include all the remaining topics in our next video. Till then, subscribe to our channel and stay tuned. If you guys like our segment on MRCS, then we intend to continue our segment and help you guys complete the syllabus of MRCS in future.